hello everyone welcome to my channel so there is an update uh, related to the geometry nodes and with this update now it is possible to access the custom mesh attributes in the shader nodes and you can render these attributes in the cycles render engine and this is one of the crucial tool that is required for the procedural workflow means to access uh, the data from the attributes in different areas of the software and another thing about this update is that we can access these custom attributes from the animation nodes and for that I have added two new nodes that allow you to get the data from the custom mesh attributes or allow you to set new attributes from the animation nodes that I will show you in this video and I will also show you how you can render these custom attributes in EV render engine. Another thing I would like to mention here is that this is one of the first question that I asked on Blender Stack Exchange is there way to access the data from the animation nodes in the uh, material or the, in the shader nodes. Now with this update it is possible and this update basically make a bridge between the animation nodes, shader nodes and the geometry nodes. So now you have a complete ecosystem for procedural workflow to create a procedural artwork with the Blender. So let's get start. So if you don't know about the attributes, so you can think uh, these attributes as uh, properties that you want to attach to the these points or the edges or the polygons or the corners. So first we will uh, set attribute in the geometry nodes and access that attribute in the animation nodes and the shader nodes. And then we will do in a reverse we set from the animation nodes and access in geometry nodes and the shader nodes if you press this button it will add the geometry nodes and geometry node modifier to this object so let's add the random attribute at the point of this object so if you hover over this property it will say type of data stored in attribute is float and floating point value okay so i'm going to name this as rent so to access this in animation nodes we have to add the new node which is available in the object category get custom attribute and set custom attribute to get this data we need get custom attribute node and select this object and it will show you whatever the attributes available to this object and we have to type this name is rent and we can view this so this is the data which is stored uh, at these four points so if we change this this is not updating because either we have to change the frame number or you can check this always uh, option in the end panel so now if you change this see it is updating so in the shader nodes if we switch this to cycles for now and add the material and then add attribute node and type here rand and we can see these values and let's subdivide this plane so we can see more values so here it is so if we go to the render view see it is changing and to see the update in animation nodes we have to change this timeline so it is updating in the viewport as well as in the animation nodes now let us uh, set a new attribute from the animation nodes so for that we need a, a set custom attribute node and select this plane and in this node the first is the domain which is point edge corner polygon where you want to attach this data this data has a float integer vector color byte color or boolean so in this case i want to attach a float data to the points now its value is zero and to access this attribute in geometry nodes if i add the attribute math node and let's change this to multiply here type as rand and here the name of animation nodes attribute 
then we're going to store this in the same rand attribute see now if i change this it is controlling the rand attribute of the geometry nodes with the attribute that we have set from the animation node and let's add some more variation to this uh, value i'm going to add the mesh object input node and select this plane and in this case we only need the vertex location because we are setting these values at the points so let's add uh, evaluate fall off node and evaluate these at the vertex location and connect this to these values and fall off i'm going to use as this noise fall off and let's increase on the frequency now if we change this noise fall off we are changing the en attribute and in the shader nodes we can also access this custom attribute that we have set from the animation nodes let's type here an minus 80 and connect this to base color see now it's possible to transfer data from animation nodes to the geometry nodes as well as to the shader nodes now i'll show you how to render these custom attributes in ev render engine if i switch to ev it doesn't showing the attribute value so for that we have to convert this attribute into the vertex color so that is possible in the geometry nodes as well as in the animation nodes so we're going to convert this rand to vertex color so for that we have to add attribute color ramp node type here as rand and here is a vertex color so for that we have to add vertex color to this object so col now if we go to shader nodes and connect this col to the base color see we have rand attributes that we can render in the ev we can also do that in the animation nodes as well to convert rand data of custom attribute into a vertex color in animation nodes we have to use a set vertex color node and select uh, the plane and then convert this to color we need combine color node and also we need a convert node and convert this to a float list one and if i connect this then we have to change this option from loop to a vertex because these are the locations at each point so point is basically for the vertex and the loop is basically act as corner and for this vertex color we have for this we can assign new one which is an an minus col and in this node we can change this from index to name and type the name of the vertex color now if we go to render view and then shader nodes here we have to type an col see they both are same we can convert uh, these custom attributes to the vertex colors with the geometry nodes or in the animation nodes in this way you can render these attributes in the ev render engine so this is it for this video so i hope you like this work now you can support me on patreon website and you can also download the project files the link is in the video description so until next time happy noting bye